Hi there, and welcome to Busy Lizzie Live. Uh, my name is Abby. Uh, nice to virtually meet you, and uh, welcome to Aerobics. So today, I am going to give you a taster of the Mummy and Me aerobics class that I teach for Busy Lizzie Live. Um, in normal circumstances, I work in London with the Clapham and Putney branches of Busy Lizzie. Um, but in recent weeks, I have been given the very exciting opportunity to teach you guys from home. Um, so today, I'm going to give you a little sample of what I do. Um, so we're going to work out together for about 15 minutes. Um, I always start my work workouts with a bit of a warm-up and then we'll kind of ramp it up a bit and get a bit of a sweat on um, before wrapping it up for today. Um, so aerobics is a workout that is to music. So for the sake of this today, I'm just playing some music in the background that hopefully you can hear while still hearing me too. Um, so we'll try and stay to a sort of beat as we go through this workout. We'll keep it nice and fun and light. Um, and the idea is to just kind of get the whole body moving and the blood pumping. Um, it is a mummy safe workout. So if you're newly postnatal, then this workout should be safe for you. Um, but there will be modifications throughout the workout. So if anything does feel too much, please listen to your body and take sort of a step back if you need it. Um, obviously I'm not there with you in person, unfortunately, so I can't sort of be specific with injuries and things like that that might be personal to you, but I will sort of try and um, accommodate to those of you that have got perhaps a, an abdominal separation or a weak pelvic floor. Um, yep, so I'll give you options throughout the time that we work out together and you can take whichever option you need at this stage so if you feel a bit stronger and fitter by all means take the harder option um, but every journey is a different journey so if you need to start slow then please do so um, okay so without further ado we're going to start with a bit of a stretch on the mat today so you just need your body preferably a mat um, if not don't worry we'll try and sort of keep it comfortable on the feet as well and a water and that will be it uh, perfect so let's get going so we're starting at the top of our space feet hip width apart so just sort of like how you'd stand to start a squat position so we want the whole foot nice and flat uh, particularly focus on fo focusing on putting the weight through the heels okay so a big in breath to the top so we just want to oxygenate the body in breath and on an out breath, we're gonna bring the arms down and into a squat position. Great, in breath, out breath. On that squat position, we want the chest to stay forwards and nice and high. Good job, and taking a big in breath, out breath. Perfect, in breath, out breath. So at this stage, there's no impact. We just want to get everything moving nice and gently and stretching through everything too. Perfect, in breath, couple more. On three, two, let's go one more. Perfect, okay, nice and simple. We're just gonna take a big stretch over to the side. So I've got a soft knee on the side that I'm leaning towards, um, just to ensure that I'm getting a big stretch down my ribs and the side of my body. You might feel this in your back as well. And I know I'm chatting away, but you breathe there through that move. Out breath and let's take it over to the other side so a big stretch over again and again I've got a little soft knee here very good and breathing very nice on five more seconds just really make the, the most of that breathing two one and back up to standing perfect I'm gonna go side on so you can see me for the next move we're bringing the hands to the top again and hands, uh, you kind of want your arms nice and close to your ears. From this point, we're going to take everything forwards, a flat back, slightly soft knee, but we're feeling the stretch behind the, behind the legs there, just on the hamstrings. Arms nice and close to the head, just pausing in the center for three more seconds. Two, one, and we're taking everything down to the ground. So sort of flopping over, don't worry if you can't reach the floor. We're just relaxing and we're uh, hanging the head, 
So we're feeling the stretch in the legs, in the spine, and gently unrolling up to standing through the spine. So we want to bring the neck up last. Let's go for a second rep. So in breath, out breath, nice flat back, pausing in the center with a stretch down the hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one, to the ground. Good job. And unrolling again. Let's go for one more rep, just to make sure that our spine is nice and flexed. Soft knees, so we're not completely locking the legs. Good job. Three, two, one, and to the ground, and gently unrolling up to standing. Nice and stretched. Perfect. We're going to bring the energy up a bit now, um, so we're going to kind of ramp up the uh, momentum a little bit. Um, okay, so move number one. Option one, butt kicks. And we're going to kick the butt, so we're bringing the foot nice and high towards the bum. This is option one, low impact. So if you feel like you have a weak pelvic floor or you're perhaps newly postnatal, we'll stick with this option. Um, you can have your hands on your hips or you can get the hands involved a little bit. Um, and I want you guys to keep this nice and speedy. I like to go with a wide split on the feet. Option two. If you feel confident, we're gonna ramp it up a little bit and add a bit of impact in this move here. So gentle land on the floor. So despite the fact that we have impact, we're still keeping it nice and light. So sort of control that landing. Let's go for five, four, on three, two, one. Move number two, let's bring the hands up and we're bringing a knee toward the chest. Think about trying to get that knee above the hip so everything's coming up, good job. And as we bring that knee in, try to keep your chest forward, back nice and straight, so we're not sort of punching in, yeah? Good job, and with those arms, really pull, pull, pull. Stay with me, let's go for five, four, perfect, on three, two, one. Excellent, last one. We're gonna go pedaling with the feet, so it's like a sprint, Option one, we're going to keep the feet, the tiptoes on the ground, but we're keeping it nice and speedy. And option two, with impact, we're going to take the feet off the ground. So choose which one works for you and stay with me. Good job. Lovely. Excellent, everybody. Staying on it. Let's go for ten more counts. Nine. Keep it speedy, keep it speedy, keep it speedy. Very good. Five. Four. Great, three, two, back to the top. Move number one, we've got butt kicks. Option one here, or option two, with a bit more impact. Stay with me, so the heart rate should be coming up a little bit now. Excellent, good job. Stay on it, and remember, low impact is absolutely fine. But if you are doing low impact, let's try and keep it speedy. So you can control that landing, but we're still going quick, 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 quick. Good job. Five, four, three, two, move to high knees with the pole. Yes, good job. And keep that speedy as well. Stay with me. Up, up, up. Good stuff. Try and get that knee above the hip. If you've got a mirror to spot yourself, use it. Watch your form. Very good. Let's go five four good job on three two one more sprint stay with me so option one keep the toes on the ground you can hunch in a little bit for this one not the most attractive move but just sort of a runner's sprint you know starting sort of hunch in a little bit and if you want and if you feel comfortable take the feet off the ground ramp it up a little bit with me okay we're going for ten nine eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Take a breath, very good. Next section, we're gonna take it into the legs a little bit. We're gonna make it a bit more kind of muscular um, and we'll get a real burn in our quads. Um, so as ever, of course, take a modification if you need it, um, but also just slow it down if you need, or speed it up, or just don't go so much into your range of motion. Don't go so far down in your squats, for instance. Um, okay, let's do it. So in your space, we're gonna start again with a, uh, a sort of just slightly wider than hip width apart on the feet. 
and we're taking the bum behind. We're sitting into the heels. You want your whole foot flat, so we're doing squats. Shoulders back, chest forwards. We're coming down. Remember what I said about range of motion. If it's too low for you, don't go so low. That's fine. Here we go. On three, two, squatting, nice and slow. Three, two, one, coming up. Three, two, one, coming up. Three, two, one, nice flat back. Three, two, one, squeeze the bum at the top. Two, one, pushing through the heels. Three, two, one, out breath as you come up. Three, two, one, good stuff. Let's go two more. Two, one, squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one, out breath. Let's go one more. Two, one, up, squeezing the glutes. Okay, next move, we're staying in the squat. Pulse, two, three. So through this, we have the same form, shoulders back, chest high. Only this time, we're not coming up to standing. We're keeping a soft knee. So we're just building that tension through the quads, through the top of the legs. Let's go five, four, good stuff. Three, two, one, narrow foot, same thing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, back to your wide squat, two, one, same thing for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, one more narrow squat, three, two, one, here we go for ten, woo, it burns, eight, seven, six, flat back, five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. We're going back to the top with the slow squat with me. Here we go. On three, two, one, through the heels. Three, two, one, coming up. Good job. Three, two, one, coming up. We're only one more time on this circuit, ladies and gents. Very good. Three, two, one. A little squeeze on your bum at the top. Two, one. Let's go for three more. Two, one, up, three, two, remember weight through the heels and your whole foot is, foot is flat, up, and we're pulsing, ready together in three, two, one, pulse, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, narrow foot, stay with me, Woo! and breathe, very good, six, five, four, three, two, one more time on wide, eight, seven, six, five, stay with it, stay with it, if you need to shake it out and get back in, you're good, that's fine, three, two, one more time on narrow squats for me, again with the narrow squat, the hips go behind, the weight is through the heels, four, three, two, one, and relax, did you feel that in the legs, oh, mine have gone like lead, we're going to do one more different circuit <sighs> and then we're done. We're almost there. Very good. Okay. So for this circuit, we're going to bring the energy up a little bit. We're going to keep with the legs, but it's just going to be a bit more fast paced. So what I want is a split on the legs like so. So almost like you're going to do a lunge, um, but slightly wider on your stance. So you want your front heel throughout the exercise to stay nice and flat and your back foot is elevated so you can take it onto the tiptoes a bit. Okay, what we're gonna do from there is bring the hands to the corner, so up almost um, by your ears, so you've got a nice straight arm so it's all in line with the body and the back leg is gonna come in, we're gonna pull, in, in, in and breathe. So, if this feels too much, you can keep the foot there on the ground, yeah? But if you can, go with me, bring the knee towards the body, so towards your tummy, and you'll feel a little squeeze on the tummy there as well. You might feel this stabilizing leg working, your bum might be working, arms are working too. Let's go for five, four, three, two, switch it over, other leg, going in in. Remember, stepping is fine as well if you don't want so much impact. Good stuff. 
bringing it all in. Excellent, stay with me. Very good. Let's go, three, two, one. Other side, one more time. Yes, good job. And breathe on these steps. We're taking the leg nice and far. We're going five, four, three, two, one. Switch over, last time. Very good. 10, 9, 8, energy high. So really pull, really stretch. On four, good job. Three, two, and one. Very good. Top of your mat. Next move in this circuit, we're going to take a little split on the feet so you can start with a sort of uh, just wider than hip width apart on this one. And we're gonna just get the upper body involved a little bit too. So, what I want is chin to chest, and then we're rolling down the spine, similar to what we did in the warm up, really, uh, so that we end up sort of flopped over at the bottom, but ensuring that your head is nice and relaxed, so your neck is nice and relaxed. And what we're gonna do, ladies and gents, is take the weight into the hands. If you can't reach the mat with a straight leg, just bend into it or take your hands further forward, that's great. From there, we're gonna take the weight into the hands so we're walking up into a high plank. This is option one. I'm keeping my knees down on the ground, option one. Then we walk back up, peeling the knees off the ground. I'm gonna show you option two. So with option two, we don't put the knees on the ground. So we end up in a high plank position. So these are walkouts. We're walking back up, that was two. Let's go for another, number three. High plank position, let's hold it. Three, two, one, back up to standing. So in your high planks, ladies and gents, let's go again. Um, we want our hands under the chest, under the shoulders, everything in line. Three, two, one, let's go back up to standing and we're gonna go for one more rep. And just to recap, option one, if you need your knees on the ground, perfect. Three, two, one, coming back up to standing and we're going to go back to the top of that circuit with a split leg, hands to the corner, three, two, one, coming in and out, good job, last time through, we're almost through, well done, keep that weight in that front leg, so this is our kind of load bearing leg, good job, let's go five, four, three, two, energy one, so we're not on it for long, so really make the most of that energy, take the foot nice and far back, if you struggle for balance, hold a wall, hold a chair, five, four, three, two, one more time each side, here we go, ten seconds only, stay with me, good job, let's go five, four, three, two, switch over, last time, good stuff, we're going for five, woo! Three, two, one, and five walkouts to complete that round. So we're rolling down the spine, hanging over at the bottom, bend the knees if you need to at this point, taking the weight into the hands, knees on the ground for your modification, walking back up to standing. Whoo! Breathe, second rep. So this is option two, the knees stay off of the ground. And back up to standing, that's two. Good stuff. Number three, let's make it to the over halfway point. Very good. Three, two, one, back up to standing. Two more times. Woo, we can do this. Roll down, weight through the hands. Number four, holding, chest over the hands. Two, one, up to standing. One more time. Nice, solid, high plank. So we want a flat back. Final one, and let's hold. Let's hold it for longer. Good job, here if you need, here or here. Let's go, five more, four more, three more, two and one. Walk it back up to standing and give yourself a tap on the back. That killed me. 
Very good, so good to see you virtually. Thank you so much for joining me in my little living room. Um, I hope you got a sweat on, I certainly did this afternoon. Um, enjoy, and hopefully see you again soon for my Tuesday aerobics. Bye.